What are you preparing for Valentine's Day? Do you like to go out to dinner or make dinner at home? Well, today I have a really easy recipe for you. It's elegant, it's sexy, and it's one of my favorites. In fact, I think I could do this one blindfolded. Veal Milanese on this episode of Cook This. Hey guys, I'm Shireen. Today I'm making one of my favorites, veal milanese, which basically is veal cutlets. I'm just gonna drown them in a little bit of egg wash, shake off the excess, then dip them in some breadcrumbs. Sometimes I add flour before I'll dip it in the eggs. Sometimes I don't. The difference really is it creates a crust that separates from the actual veal itself. Chicken as well, you could totally do this with chicken, eggplant, so all of them really are called milanese. And, uh, but this one, no flour. I'm just gonna egg, then into the breadcrumbs, put it on a plate, and then fry them up. This is really easy. And then finish it with my favorite, lemons. You could do this a half hour in advance, put it in your refrigerator, and that way it will create a nice crust. It won't crack. So the first thing you wanna do is heat your skillet. About a good 30 seconds, you want to heat it, you want it to be really hot because the veal cutlets are really thin and they cook quick. So once your skillet's nice and hot, you want to add peanut oil, which has a higher smoke point. If you have a peanut allergy, you could just use grapeseed oil and then you want to heat the oil as well. So the whole key to this is you want the veal cutlets to be submerged about halfway. And you'll know when your oil is heated when it starts to sort of dance and shimmer. And then once it's nice and hot, we're gonna add the veal cutlets, cook them two minutes on one side, and flip it one minute. That's it, season them with salt. That's pretty much it. And that's the sound you wanna hear. It has to sizzle. Right, first batch is done. I'm just gonna remove it to a rack. Don't put it on a paper towel line plate. Just right over a rack. Veal is ready. Just some salt right over the top. And then, can't forget to finish it with freshly squeezed lemon. So these are my father-in-law's lemons that he took care of for me. Boy, he did a great job. So I do this any night of the week with chicken, but veal makes it extra special. Make this for Valentine's Day for your loved ones. They will love you for it. For the recipe, go to the newspaper's website, or for more of my fresh and easy recipes, check out tweetneeds.com. Enjoy, happy Valentine's Day.